Kelsey Zeiser with Light Reading and we're here at MEF 18 in Los Angeles and I'm joined by Satya Parini with Spectrum Enterprise. Good to see you, Satya. Nice to see you too. So you were on a panel about SD-WAN this morning and there's yes. been, of course, a lot of talk about um, SD-WAN and standards today. Uh, where is Spectrum at moving from the trial phase to launch of SD-WAN services and what are some things that you've learned along the way? Uh, we'll be launching our service, uh, making it generally available over the next uh, coming weeks. We've started prepping the internal channels with training and uh, we're starting to respond to RFPs and, and get ready for launch. Uh, the, the market trials, market field trials with live customers uh, have been very, very interesting and also we learned a lot going through the trials. Uh, I would bunch a lot of our learnings into three key areas, uh, one around technology, other around operations, service delivery, and the last around customer experience, client experience. On the technology side, it's no different than what you're hearing from everybody else. It's not plug and play. The overlay and the underlay don't seamlessly work together. You have to do some engineering work up front. Uh, Self-installs was another very interesting thing. It's not as easy as people think it is, uh, especially if you ship out a kit. Sometimes you, know, you need to put this in a telecom closet. You need a screwdriver or a flashlight that an office manager may not have, right? Mm -hmm. You may need to have an IT person there, for example. So, so maybe so not fully zero touch? It is not. It is fully zero touch mm -hmm. after everything is hooked up. Okay. And getting there is not that easy. Mm -hmm. um, and so for launch, for example, based on those learnings, we've decided to do a fully white glove onboarding with uh, installation in footprint, out of footprint. Um, same thing from a service delivery perspective we learned that you have to orchestrate and automate service delivery end-to-end. -end. Otherwise, it's not scalable, and it's hard to do service assurance. And the biggest learning has been from a client perspective, people saying, okay, I get SD-WAN, I see the, understand the functionality. What is the net incremental new thing I'm getting outside of saving money on access, for example? Uh, you're giving me a lot of complexity. You're, you're moving a lot of feature functionality and flexibility from the network to me. Do I need to have this complexity? Can it be a managed service? So that's the other thing we're doing with, with uh, our launch is we were contemplating both self-managed and fully managed, but we're going to launch with a fully managed service. Everything included, one price, um, everything part of the service. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit more about why you chose to go that route of a fully managed service? I know some other providers are offering different tiers of SD-WAN services, yeah. and also just tell us a little bit more about the types of customers uh, mm -hmm. that you're targeting for the SD-WAN service, um, size and, and verticals, for example. Uh, I think those two questions, are those, those two things go together. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the learnings from uh, the self-managed versus the fully managed aspect was around the complexity with a lot of the settings in the service. And we're really trying to target uh, the upper end of the mid-market and the enterprise uh, segment uh, initially because that's our sweet spot with our current customer base of Ethernet customers. And one of the unique things we offer, as you know, is the layer two hybrid with SD-WAN. So that fits well into that, into that segment. And also, I think over time, we will have a self-managed option as well. But initially, we didn't want to complicate the service for the customer. We want them to be comfortable using this new technology, getting the benefits you know, out of it. So, so typically, you know, five to 100, 200 site customers uh, is what, uh, location site customers is what we're looking at. There are some larger opportunities we're looking at as well, and 200 is not a hard limit, but we're looking for someone that's looking for a managed experience because uh, there are other providers that can provide a lot more bells and whistles, mm -hmm. but whoever's buying that need to have a large IT presence to be able to manage the complexity. So we're trying to focus initially on uh, our area of core competence, which is you know, targeting the, the upper end of the mid-market and the enterprise, uh, where we can bring a fully managed service with white glove onboarding, and we're also looking at a, a front-end engineering design uh, team as well that'll help post-sale close uh, to work with the client to make sure they have the right design before we get to implementation. So it's going to be more curated experience and we want to make sure we take them on the right journey mm -hmm. 
uh, so they're not put off by the complexity that comes with uh, SD-WAN. Right, that does seem to be a theme today, is focusing yes. on simplicity and reducing that complexity yeah. for customers. Yeah, and that's also the reason why we don't have tiers, right? It's one service, completely managed, all included, because uh, the price arbitrage is not worth it there in terms of having a, uh, we've seen the base package, the concierge package, the managed service package on top. Uh, for a lot of customers, that are used to, that's the other very important thing is, you know, uh, people that are used to having a managed service, it's hard for them to cut over where, you know, they have a service where they don't buy the management aspect of it. So we are trying to keep it simple, uh, simple pricing, uh, you know, standardized set of boxes, few, few choices, and as much as possible, everything included. Mm -hmm. uh, and looking at MEF 3.0, how does that help Spectrum deliver more business services or, or perhaps more efficiently? So uh, I take the uh, the things that happen from uh, CE 2.0. CE 2.0, the carrier Ethernet 2.0 was a was a great win for, for Charter and Spectrum Enterprise because uh, we were very early on a big proponents of standardization because standardization drives uh, a lot quicker uptake of service because enterprises feel comfortable that they're buying something that's an industry standard. And we're hoping with 3.0 and the 3.0 APIs for cross-provider uh, connectivity, but more importantly, the standardization efforts, I think today was announced, uh, there is a spec out for SD-WAN, standardized SD-WAN. I think that will give a lot of enterprises more comfort that they're buying into something that's industry standard and that's there to stay, and that's not going to change. So 3.0 helps us from that perspective, and uh, certification, again, we're a big proponent of getting people certified. We have, the, uh, I think, one of the largest, if not the largest CE 2.0 certified professionals in a company, and we're investing in the same for 3.0 as well. And so you mentioned uh, the benefit of having those SD-WAN uh, standards and moving in that direction. Uh, what's next for meeting the, the demands of your customers for their business services? What are some challenges you foresee? Uh, I think it's two part. I mean, there's a lot of talk about SD-WAN, but I think the bigger conversation needs to be around SD and NFV. SD-WAN is one service. So as we look at SD-WAN service and how we deliver it, we're looking to do it from a SDN NFE platform. So we're going to make SDN as one of the services on that platform. And then we're, security is also going to be delivered from that platform. And we plan to use that platform to deliver services to other existing services we have like internet and ethernet. So for our business customers, that's one of the things we're looking at is how do we leverage the benefits of SDN NFE to deliver compelling services to the end customer because uh, I think I spoke in, in the morning about this topic that we're hearing a lot from enterprises saying, yes, SDN NFE is really interesting technology, but what is it getting me incrementally, right? You're selling me the same services that I already have, right? You're just delivering it better, differently, or faster. What are the incremental benefits and value that you can show to me because I think unless we do that, there's not going to be a big shift in moving to some of these newer dynamic services. And in the proof of concept uh, here on the show floor, that's one of the things we're working on. We're showing how we can use application aware policy based networks that in real time can adjust to what's going on with the application. And that's a value. If you can get to intent based uh, uh, client experience where networks are in an automated autonomous way reacting to what's happening in the network, that's another value to the, to the end customer. So what's next for business customers is a compelling enough product that they believe gives enough value for them to adopt all these services en masse. Otherwise, it's going to be internet, ethernet, managed <laughs> services, security. So I, I think the key is to make sure we find what, what triggers the enterprises to want to move to these new services. That makes a lot of sense. Well, thanks so thank much you. for your time, Satya. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you.